here we are with my face powders. I decided to sort of continue on in groups of three, so I am going to do today the face powders, and then the next two coming are highlights and bronzers. I'm a little scared to tackle blushes, so we'll see when that happens, but let's jump into powder because powder not being my favorite thing seems like an easy thing to do. So I'll link the haul below, but this is a newer face powder to me. It's the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Powder. And it's kind of a giant mess, but it does have a little poof. I don't know, guys. Like, it's nice. <laughs> but I think I might just get rid of it because I can't stand the mess. I don't know. As you can see, I just had to clean that off again. It just makes me crazy. So... It's really good. It's inexpensive. If you like loose powder, I think you might really like this. It's really finely milled. The poof kind of helps, but I store my stuff in a drawer and it still seems to get all over the place. So that's going to be in the maybe for now. And then I have a couple of other loose powders. I see. Oh, dear. <laughs> you guys, that just got all over that, too. It's just it's really such a mess. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is also a giant mess. I wish, and maybe they do now because I've had this for a while, they would come out with a container. Do you see all that poofing? With a sifter in it. It's so finely milled and it really does sort of perfect things. I really should have done all the loose powders last. Ah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, guys. I love it, but look at that. I mean, I can't even open it to show you without making a giant mess. I do want to say that between the two of these, I probably think they're fairly similar. The NYC Smooth Skin is less expensive. I think I would, all things being equal, pick the e.l.f. if the packaging were better, but they're about the same. So I think they're both just going to go. And then I have, I thought I had a Tarte Smooth Operator powder somewhere as well. But I think it might be in my samples. I really like that too. So if I have that, I will keep that for if I need loose powder. This is the Laura Mercier, what is it, Universal Loose Minerals. This was just sent to me to try. So I'm going to keep that and give it a go. Um, not by Laura Mercier or anything, but just by a friend. And same with this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I've heard amazing things. I love it. Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder in the color Translucent translucent. It also doesn't have a sifter, so it's just such a mess. And I don't know if you guys are like this, but I don't have a makeup vanity. I don't have a place that's just dedicated to makeup. So when it gets all over my vac my vacuum, huh, my bathroom, it just makes me crazy. So there's that one. Maybe they have a sifter now. Again, this was sent from a friend, so I'm not really sure. I'm going to keep the It Cosmetics and the Laura Mercier. Let's do another It Cosmetics product. This one I bought from a blog sale, brand new, from a girl that used to have a channel. I really liked her, but she does not anymore. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I've used it a couple of times. It is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. So I'm in the shade Light. It does have quite a bit of illumination. This is a good thing to set a foundation with, but I do feel like I have to be careful what I set with this because if it already has a bit of illumination, it's too much illumination for me. Apparently that's a hard word for me to say. So I'm interested to try if ever it comes my way the celebration foundation, I mean, or if I run out of powders and need to buy one or whatever, but I don't think I'm going to buy the regular celebration foundation just because I'm not a huge powder girl. And I do have a favorite for setting foundation. When I want a super flawless look, I like the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I am in the shade 03 Natural and I'm getting powder all over everything. There it is. As you can see, I've used the snot out of it. It has really nice coverage there. Pretty opaque. You could probably wear it on its own, especially if you had oilier skin. That would be a really nice one. I'm going to keep that and use it up. And I think I would buy it again, but I may just use up this and and then kind of decide what I like better because I've been in love with that NYX for a while. And the Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in the shade 05 Silky Beige is newer to my collection. It does feel super lightweight and I've really been enjoying it for like swim meets and summer and that kind of thing. So I hate the packaging though. It just feels so cheap and it is inexpensive, but... I don't like that when the lid comes off separately. I don't know. So there's that. It doesn't have a whole lot of color to it. 
So it's just really nice and it does help keep me matte. I've been having some oil struggles that I didn't have in the past. You can see my window there. The last two that we have to talk about are the Lorac, what is this called? I got this on Hope Look. Oil Free Wet Dry Powder. So I bought it in the shade WD2 and it is really light. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I mean, I'm pretty fair, but that's just too fair for me as you can see there. It's a nice powder though, so if it worked for you, it's pretty opaque, pretty finely milled. So it's nice, it's just the wrong color for me and I don't use powder that much, so keeping that would be silly. The last thing I have is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. There we go. I think this might have been the first thing I ever purchased from MAC. I really do like it. It's a domed baked product, I believe, so I have made quite a dent in there for someone who doesn't use powder daily. There's the shade there. And there it is on my skin. You can see it just feels so good and soft and light on your face. It does give a little bit of coverage on its own, but not a lot. So this is a nice one to set your foundation or if you're just going for a little bit of a perfected look on a really natural day. This is really expensive though, and I don't know that I would say that it's a dupe, the Stay Matte, but I feel like these are similar enough that I... If this is what's in my bathroom, this is what I wear. If I were going to reach for one, I'd probably reach for the MAC, but it's not so different that, that I probably could even tell the difference if someone were applying it on me. So if you've been interested in trying the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, try the Rimmel Stay Matte. I think it's really nice. So, Okay, so it looks like we're keeping the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, the Rimmel Stay Matte. The IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation, the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, the Laura Mercier Loose Minerals, and the tail end of this NYX Day Matte but not flat. Guys, if you haven't tried this, totally do. I don't really know if I have a favorite here. As I said, powders aren't my big thing, but those are the ones that we're keeping. We only got rid of three, but they're all very good products. I just don't love powders, don't use them as often as maybe I should, and these messy ones just make me nuts. So, highly recommend this if the mess doesn't get to you, but just a pass if, if the powdery mess just makes you crazy. The e.l.f. High Definition Powder. The NYC Smooth Skin is so similar, it's just a little less expensive, and it does have a poof that sits above it, but so did the... The e.l.f. I think I must have just gotten rid of it before I realized that it would be valuable. So that's going to go. And this Lorac powder just didn't... Oh, hey, you can see me in the reflection. Just didn't really super wow me. So that one's going to go as well. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any powder recommendations or have any thoughts on any of these products, please leave them in the description box below. Stay tuned for highlighters and bronzers. And again, keep me posted if you like this format. I was able to film today right after going on a long bike ride and playing at the park with my kids, so I didn't even have to get ready. So these are kind of fun for me to film on days where I wouldn't otherwise have time. So bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.